The defense of Guyana's borders is the responsibility of the government of Guyana. It's not the responsibility of CGX. The first line of defense, if I might say so, uh, in relation to the defense of Guyana's borders and frontiers is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs staff, when you ask them, they can't tell you anything about the payment to CGX and the contracting of services. In 51 years since independence, when there were a whole set of companies sitting offshore, sitting on shore, all of them left. And why did they leave? Because of the threat of our neighbor. The neighbor doesn't like us to say this, but it is a fact. It is a fact. That's the difference between Guyana and Suriname. It is the difference between Guyana and Brazil. All the companies that are currently around us, whether it is Hess, and the wells, first of all, let me remind you, the, the, the wells are it's a, the, 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 chi the largest Chinese company in the world operating on, in oil is partner to Exxon. It's not only Exxon. Anadarko came here, their vessel was seized, and they never come back. Anadarko, an American company, large American, never came back. The details, if you give a person one well, for example, the details of those well, that well is is made public. Is it conceivable that that will be unhelpful to Guyana? Is it conceivable that knowledge of the coordinates can help another hostile agency? How do you think that this CGX rig was found? I am telling you it is Guyanese, access to Guyanese information that enabled our neighbor, our neighbor's military to find and seize the rig. Subtítulos y traducción. Mi mapa de Venezuela incluye nuestro esequibo.